Hi guys. Welcome to another video of Ghostmaker's YouTube channel. I'm a game developer just like you who uses Unity to make awesome games. In last video, we created a car that runs on an environment manually created by Sprite Shape Component. To create a long path is boring and a kind of headache. Let's create an environment creator component that will create dynamic environments using Perlin Noise. The idea of Perlin Noise was given by Ayush Cool as a comment on last video. If you have not seen the video, go do it right now or you'll not understand this video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe. Let's start. Go to scripts folder and create a new script called environment creator. Add it to the ground game object. Open it. Remove start and update methods. Add execute and edit mode attribute to the class. It will make the script run in edit mode. Create on validate method. It is automatically called by Unity whenever something changes in editor. Create an integer called cycles. And on validate, Create a for loop with integer i that starts from 0 and loop to cycles minus 1. Create a new vector to store last position. And for loop, set last position to transform dot position plus new vector 3i comma math f dot perlin noise 0 comma i. Create sprite shape controller variable and set it to get component sprite shape controller. Create new point in shape using insert point at i to last position. Save it and get back to Unity. Try changing cycles value. And you will see an error in console. It's because we are adding new point on another existing point so we need to clear the spline. Save and back to Unity. Change cycles value. You will see a line drawing in scene. Go to script and create new float called noise step and multiply it to second argument of Perlin noise method. Save and back to Unity. Try changing noise step value in inspector. You will see a rough polygon like ground. Don't worry we'll fix it later. Go to script and create two variables called x multiplier and y multiplier. Create local variables x and y and on validate function to store these values in calculations. Multiply y with y argument and x with x argument of the position. This error shows up again. Let's set x and y values and the error will go away. Go to script again. Sprite shape dot spline dot set tangent mode i and shape tangent mode dot continuous. Sprite shape dot spline dot set left tangent i and vector 3 dot left multiplied by x. Sprite shape dot spline dot set right tangent i and vector 3 dot right multiplied by x. Sorry, x. Oops, these are so weird hills. Let's fix it. Create new float curve and multiply it with second arguments of set left tangent and set right tangent methods. Adjust the value in inspector. It still looks weird. Let me show you why. Sprite shape dot spline dot insert point at cycles. New vector last position dot x. Create new variable depth to store how deep you want environment to be and subtract it from transform dot position in new vectors y argument. Insert another point at cycles plus one new vector transform dot position dot x. Transform dot position dot y minus depth. Yeah. No weirdness anymore, you can adjust depth in inspector. Also only add continuous tangent mode if it is not first or last point. Also make sure to check update collider in sprite shape controller. Play around with the values. Create new floats x difficulty. 
and Y difficulty that determines how intense the ground bumps will get with distance. Add them to X and Y respectively. Adjust the values and create desired ground. Adjust it in scene view and hit play. Remember, you can create many kinds of environments by just playing around with the values in Inspector. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe if you already haven't and share this video with your friends. Goodbye. See you again.